We're a part of the Brio program, which stands for Red Environmental Academy of Leadership, and we're like a project-based program. And since we're teamed with the Rotary, the Peninsula Rotary, they were able to take two students to go to Thailand, and the, the way we got it was by writing monologues on water prevention. And yeah, that's how we won our trips. I never thought about traveling. I, okay. I was the first in my whole family, like, I'm talking about aunts, uncles, cousins, first in my whole family to ever go overseas. I was the first in my immediate family to ever go on a plane. When I got back, I realized, like, all I know is what I, all I know is what I live. Like, this is the, what I, this is the only thing I'm used to is school, work, home, and my community. That's all I'm used to. Like, I used to think, you know, my community is bad. I live in East Palo Alto. It's a community of, like, what people know as poverty, um, like, a lot of youth gangs and stuff. But going over there, it's like, there's so much more out in the world to see. Like, these kids have nothing. Mm -hmm. Like, these girls, the girls, girls my age, younger than me at 12, 11, as soon as, like, they hit puberty, like, they're, like, forced to go into prostitution and stuff. And when I saw that, it's like, I... I had to, I had learned that I had to be more appreciative of the world around me. I'd say for me, it changed the way I think partially because I'd always think, oh, you know, I'm poor. We are American poor, but American poor is rich, rich compared to the people over there. My thoughts were always, I'm going to finish school. I'm going to go to college and I'm going to do my own thing and I'm not going to worry about what anyone has to tell me. And now, like, I actually sit there and I tell my mom, like, Mom, like, what do you want me to do after? Mom, do you need me to do anything for you? Mom, do you need any help with this? Do you need any help with that? And ever since I came back, she's realized, like, you, you're changing. I'm like, Cause I, I appreciate I have you here still. Like, these girls out there, you know, they're my age and they're suffering with STDs. They're suffering with children. They're suffering with, with nothing. Like, they don't even have parents because their parents have abandoned them because they can't raise them. So they had no other choice than saying, you know, you have to live your own life at 11 years old. So I appreciate that you're here. So now, like, instead of, you know, after school, going with my friends. I, I still do. Yeah. But instead of going with my friends and, like, not paying attention to what's really important, I've actually sat down and I've, I've like, thought to myself, what am I really going to do now? Like, after high school, after college, what, am, what, what are my plans really other than getting out of my house? Mm -hmm. I've always been in a bit of a shell, except in the real program, I've got really close to everyone. I'm not in a shell at all. But over there, I was in a bit of situations where I had to talk mm. to people, and these are people I couldn't even understand, so I had to communicate with them. So doing that, I'm thinking, now that I'm back here, if I can do that with people I don't even mm -hmm. understand, I could communicate with them, I could talk to anyone here, I shouldn't be nervous, shouldn't be shy about anything, and... It's just made me more outgoing in general. Like, I'm not really as withdrawn as I was before the trip. I want to help people now. I mean, I may have less as an American, but I have enough to help people.